Hello, in this video I'm going to share with you some tips on how to use the technology that you've got to make your online presentations a little bit more engaging for your audience. First the camera, lighting, sound and microphones, how to reduce the echo and make your environment a little bit better. Let's start with the camera. First of all, find out where it is. Mine is just there. And then clean it. Clean it with something that you'd normally use to clean your glasses with or a camera lens. Particularly if you're using the camera on a phone or an iPad, it's probably been in your pocket, picked up a whole load of fluff. Give it a good clean before you use it. Second, talk to it. Practice talking to the camera. Now it's really weird, it's really hard to start with, but how I did it was start recording myself, talk to the camera, stop, play it back, see that I'm not actually looking, I'm looking at me, I'm not looking at the lens, and that's that makes the difference between looking at you and this is looking at me. Looking at you, looking at me. It makes a difference to the audience on how you're perceived. So when I was doing it with the phone, I'd record it, I'd watch it, I'd cringe, I'd delete. I'd record, I'd watch, I'd cringe and delete. And after a few times, it became a little bit more normal to talk to the camera. The third thing about the camera is try to position it above your eye line. This will make you look a lot better. Now let's move on to lighting. One of the really important things, don't have your back to a window. You will look like one of those 1980s we are hiding your identity crime scene things. It's not the best look. Also with lighting, make sure that the curtains are drawn because when the sun comes from behind a cloud, it changes all the shadow and the brightness and the camera adjusts automatically, but that shows up. Make sure that you've got lights in front of you shining at you, so put them behind the camera. I have used table lamps, I've used standard lamps, and it just helps you be seen. Now on to the microphone use one. doesn't matter if you've got a £30 one like I'm using. The advantage of this is it's got a long cable so I can actually move about without pulling my laptop off the desk. But you can also use a small one that you get with your smartphone. Absolutely acceptable. And you can use wireless ones. Your computer microphone or the one on the camera will often pick up all the background noises so you might hear traffic going past uh, you might hear the fan on the computer start up and again they're distracting make sure that it actually is recognized and is used i've seen people using microphones but they're still actually they're wearing the microphone but the sound is still going through the computer microphone because they haven't either set it up in the settings in the computer or the settings in the software so there might be a little bit of poking about until you can find the right settings you've probably seen the padded cells of recording studios well we're not expecting you to have something like that however if you can make some of the flat surfaces a little bit less hard then you won't sound like you're in the bottom of a goldfish bowl. So for me, I have put a towel over my monitor and I've also got a towel on my desk. If I pick up a pen and I drop it over there on the desk, it's quite loud, but if I drop it on the towel, it's not so bad. And the whole purpose of a lot of these things is just to reduce the distractions and make it easy for your listener. The final point for the technology is if you are using your computer, turn off everything that is likely to make a ding noise. There's nothing more distracting for a member of the audience, for someone who's presenting for their machine to make the same noise that your machine makes. And then you're wondering, well, who is that who sent me a message? What have I got to action that? Turn everything off that you can. 
and on your phone uh, if, if you're not using it or even if you are using it you can put it into airplane mode and then you won't get any pings and also it means you won't be distracted by something coming up and saying oh Fred's just updated their Facebook page We've all seen the distractions of little children coming in uh, during a presentation. If you can try and limit that, do. Or cats or dogs or other pets. And that's the technical tips. Find the camera, clean it, use it, look at it. Use a microphone. Get your lighting set up so that you can be seen. Make your room a little bit less echoey and remove as many distractions, particularly ping noises, that you can.